Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Jasmine Destine back with another nail DIY video. Okay, period. I'm gonna be showing you guys my simple white manicure and updated routine, so let's just get into it. Okay, starting out, I'm gonna be pushing back my cuticles using a cuticle pusher, getting the dead skin off of my natural nail. Um, cleaning it up because this is going to give us a salon like quality manicure at home this is literally the key like you guys don't understand if you don't clean up them cuticles the nails is just not gonna pop they're not gonna it's not gonna hit the same you have to do this so I went ahead and I cleaned underneath my nails I'm cutting them down because I don't need them to be long I am gonna be using tips today so we're gonna get into all of that, but right now I'm just cleaning up my hands so they're nice and manicured and prepped for my new set. Then taking my handheld e-file and my sanding band, I'm going to buff away the natural shine off of my nail. I have it on the lowest setting, the lowest speed, and I'm just very gently kind of running it back and forth over my natural nail until it's completely buffed and I can see that there's no shine left on my nail. This is really important because this is what's going to help along with the other products that I'm gonna use. This is gonna help my sets last really long like literally when i do sets that are this length they're more short and they're more natural looking i can have them on for a month because they literally like there's no lifting and i genuinely feel like it's because of the steps that i take in order to make sure that my nails last as long as possible I'm gonna be taking this professional nail glue that I got from my local beauty supply store and these long stiletto clear nail tips that I purchased off of Amazon. Everything that I use will be linked down below in the description box, so don't worry, it'll be down there linked for you. But I'm just going ahead and I'm gluing the tips on um, using that nail glue. Um, I tried just putting the glue on the inside of the tip and then sticking it on and I felt like it was better for me to just put the glue on my nail and then apply pressure for 30 seconds with the tip and it was good to go. These are what the nail tips look like glued all the way on and then I'm gonna take a acrylic nail cutter and I'm gonna cut the tips down. I'm doing a short set as you guys can see from the intro to this video as well as the thumbnail. We're going for like that really natural but really feminine looking short manicured set. You've been seeing all of the girls on Instagram doing this set as of recent. Like I've seen Ari, I've seen Jada, I've seen Diera, I've seen just a ton of girls on Instagram with the short white manicure and I'm trying to show you guys how I do it for myself at home and it just comes out so bon it bomb. It looks like I got it done at the nail salon. So I'm taking my sanding band on my e-file and I'm buffing the edge of the tip so that it's smooth and it's flush with my natural nail and you see me feeling for it here. So it was nice and smooth and then I'm going in with my nail file and I'm just really sharpening up my nails. I like a very, very square, sharp shape for my hands, for my toes, that's just what I prefer. You can file your nails however you'd like. Um, and then I'm going in with the Gelish PH Bond. This does come in a kit that I purchased off of Amazon. It is like a little costly, but honestly I've had it for over a year, so I definitely feel like I've gotten my money's worth. And then I'm going in with the Apre Acid Free Gel Primer because I am gonna be using Apre products today to build my nail up. So I wanted to go in with their Acid Free Gel Primer, which I really love. And I did a light layer of that on every nail. And then I'm going into the Gelish Foundation Base. So this is a clear gel foundation base that you're supposed to use underneath gel products. So I use this under 
the Apre products because those are gel products. I use it under poly gel. Anything gel based, you wanna use a foundation base underneath as well. It's just going to help with your sets lasting long and everything sticking and not lifting after a week or two weeks. I'm telling you, you gotta just follow the steps. And it, it, I'm, I promise you, with practice, you're gonna be able to do it for yourself and you're gonna be saving yourself so much money because literally I don't get my nails done in the nail salon. I haven't for over a year and it's honestly the best decision I've ever made. Then I take my uh, little UV lamp and I stick my hand under that for 30 seconds after doing a layer of the foundation base on the four fingers. And now I'm going in on my fifth finger, which is my thumb, and I'm gonna repeat the same process. I just wanna say my thumb, like I literally got the tip so flush that you can't even see it. It looks so good. <laughs> like I'm so proud of myself. Then I'm gonna go in with the Extend Gel from Apre, and this is what I'm gonna be using to basically sculpt and build my nails today. So let me tell you a little bit about this product. This is not sponsored by the way, but if Apre wants to reach out, hey, you guys can send me an email. It's in the description box. I use your products all the time. The Extend Gel is basically a builder gel. So think of like the builder gel that you get in a tub and you would be using with a nail brush. It's basically the same thing. It's builder gel, but it's in a nail polish bottle. So I feel like it's easier to use because we're kind of more comfortable with holding a nail polish brush as opposed to like, you know, nail brushes. I feel like the product itself, it's very, um, the viscosity of it is like very liquidy, but it still holds a shape. So you guys are gonna see that I'm able to like do a layer of it. I did it pretty thick on the pinky, like as my first finger, it was kind of like practice almost. Um, I go in with a little bit less on the other fingers, but you can see that I did like one single layer on my pinky and now I'm going in and I'm applying it towards the top of the nail along my cuticle because I'm trying to build a bit more of an apex towards the cuticle. I want there to be like a thickness up there so that it's not super thin. We don't want the nails to be like really thin, you know? It still has to have like somewhat of a thickness to it and I really, really feel like this is gonna be my new method for when I want short nails, um, as opposed to using like the Apre soft gel and then with the poly gel on the inside, this was like a lot easier. Like it was so quick. This has to be the quickest method that I do for my nails like thus far. You guys have seen all of the different like um, nail mediums that I've used on my channel over the year and this has to be the quickest method like I literally just glued the tips on I did about two layers of the extend gel on every finger and then I did my color and it's you guys are gonna see in the end it's so pretty um, you can also flip your hand upside down which is what you guys just saw me do um, this is gonna help the gel level out because I told you that the the texture of it is like kind of liquidy so when you're holding your finger upside down it actually like levels out and centers and that's pretty much with any gel product like any kind of builder gel product so i thought that was really good to mention as a tip for you guys um it's just gonna help with any bumps or like lumps in your application completely smooth out as you guys can see and then I'm going on to the index finger and just repeating the same process. So I started out doing like a single kind of thin layer and then I'm gonna go back in with more of the same product and just kind of build it up. This color is so pretty. Um, I'm gonna have it linked down below in the description box because I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's such a pretty like natural color. Honestly, if you didn't want to go in with a gel polish on top of this afterwards, you don't have to. You could completely leave your nails just like this and just do clear coat. Um, but because I'm doing a white set, I obviously will be painting them white later on.
look at how pretty the thumb looks oh my gosh everything is just coming together so nicely so you guys see like i start out towards the cuticle area and i'm kind of like putting a little ball of the gel and then i'm in circular motions i'm bringing it down the nail i use the same technique with builder gel in the past on my channel and when I tell you it's like the same kind of product, it really is like, it functions and works the same way. So if you guys have any understanding or knowledge or just comfortability with using Builder Gel, I really feel like you'll like the Extend Gel from Apre. And they have it in a bunch of different colors. I definitely wanna go and get some more um, because I'm actually like a really big fan now. And then taking a little cotton wipe pad, I'm going to take some alcohol and I'm going to wipe off the sticky layer that is on my nails before I go in with top coat. It kind of makes them look a little cloudy, but the top coat is gonna bring that shine right back, so don't worry. Um, before I do top coat though, I'm obviously going to just clean these up a bit. I took my e-file with the sanding band and I, bump the speed up a little bit more so it's buffing a little bit faster and I'm just gonna lightly buff the top layer of the nail. I just wanna make sure that everything is really smooth um, and just looks like that perfect like salon manicure. That was really just what I kept thinking and going for in my head. This is what my nails looked like and I just wanted to show you them from this side so that you could see they're really not that thick at all but they do feel like a very sturdy nail like I don't feel like they're going to break nor are they going to lift and then I'm gonna go with my gel polish that I got off of Amazon this was like seven bucks and I'm going to do two layers of this white gel polish on every single finger I'm just gonna let you guys watch me paint my nails because it's so calming and like satis oddly satisfying. I don't think it's odd, but it just looks good, you know? It's pleasing to the eye. And then I'm cleaning up with any alcohol on my brush, you know, just cleaning up any errors that I make while painting my nails. That's what the first single layer looks like. I'm gonna cure for 30 seconds underneath my UV lamp. And then I'm gonna go in and repeat the same steps on the thumb. And we're gonna do another layer because it isn't fully opaque and we want it to be perfect. So we're gonna do two, make sure you cap those edges.
After doing two layers of the white on all fingers, this is what my nails look like. I'm gonna go in with the gelish, top it off, and do a single layer of top coat, clear top coat. Honestly, not my most intricate set or difficult or colorful, but this set is just so pretty. I feel so feminine. This length is perfect because I'm still able to have my nails done and feel girly, but, them not, but they're not super long, so I'm not struggling to do things or constantly breaking a nail. Um, so I really, really like that. I can text on the phone and type on the computer with ease. I honestly love this length so much. I really feel like in between my more dramatic and really long sets, I'm definitely gonna be doing short sets like these that are just super simple, one color, clean, good to go. You can never go wrong with an all white, simple, like short manicure. It just looks so good. After doing top coat on all of my fingers, this is what my nails look like. They look so good. I'm so, I'm so pleased. Literally, I know I say that all the time, but like so pleased. <laughs> and then we're gonna come back and I'm about to apply some cuticle oil. I'm using the cuticle oil that comes in the gelish kit. And I'm gonna apply that to my cuticles to just really finish off this perfect salon manicure at home, this DIY salon manicure at home. I'm so happy with the way that my nails turned out. Let me know down below if you guys would try this method for doing your nails at home. Let me know if you do your nails at home. Um, I love when you guys comment and you let me know that you practice because of my videos and now you like do your own sets. It makes me feel so good inside. I feel so inspired to just keep creating content like this. Make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the fam because we are almost at 100K. I love you guys so much. Don't forget you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you and I can't wait to see you at my next upload. Bye.